So Chris, what about this worry that the solvents of the vaccines may have some heavy uh, metals or damaging chemicals. Is am, there any evidence for I am this? smiling because a lot of people, including my friends, would say I'm not taking it because of the adjuvants. The, the chemicals the included in the... That's so. right. It has no adjuvants whatsoever. It has so no, no chemicals whatsoever in the, in the, in the COVID. Vaccine. Right. And what about the other vaccines? Do they have or may they have? And are they I can, I can, I can say about the vaccines which currently are licensed by EMA. In other words, the Moderna, right. the Pfizer, the EMA Johnson, being Johnson, European? European Medicines Authority. This is the authority launched by the yes. EU. These are, um, it, it's launched by the EU and there are experts who are examining every word in the documents before they give the license. License. And once the EMA gives authority for that vaccine to be used within Europe, then we have our own medicines authority with our own very well experienced local scientists and pharmacists who go once again through all the literature, go through all the references and make sure that the ultimate risk benefit is good for us. Too. So there's a fail safe system where there's a two tier or even three tier check where scientists are checking scientists exactly. and checking scientists. Professor Barbara, thank you very much. Pleasure. Stay safe out there, stick to the plan, remember the masks, and whatever you need, remember there's always help. And wash your hands. And wash your hands, very importantly. Right, look out to the next series of talks. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Stay safe, together, let's conquer this virus and any crisis we have. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. Yes.